All right, the customer requested me make a video of this. Um, he's got a 2004 Mercedes. Um, it's actually a CL500. And um, this is what I had to, I had to take the intake manifold off because so it actually goes like this on the car. And right in the front of the vehicle, in front of the intake manifold, there's a vacuum line. It, uh, it goes up inside this hole. And there's no way to replace that vacuum line without taking this intake manifold apart. And I'll show you how we did it. Um, Mercedes does not sell this separate. You are not advised to split this, but I'm gonna show you how you can get away with it. Um, first of all, you have, you have to take the intake off, the fuel rail off with the injectors, unbolt this. That's the upper plenum, leave that alone. This guy is the pain in the butt. Um, this is the uh, runner control. It controls the intake runners. Well, I had to spray decarb and gently pry. This is aluminum, but you still wanna be careful. And I just got to I was able to finally get to a point where I was able to just Do this and I was able to pry it off when I got got it off this was the culprit this is what I found this is what Mercedes puts underneath there that's the vacuum line and that is the brittle vacuum that goes through that hole right there on the bottom in the front of the intake manifold so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to replace it I've got a new high quality vacuum line that I'm going to run on there. But for me to keep that on, kind of like what Mercedes did, I'm going to run this first. This is just a, uh, an extra size hose that it's the perfect length. You know, I just measured it right here off of the old one. That way it can stay in the same spot. Um, it kind of just keeps it in place up against the inside of that lower section. I'm going to throw this vacuum line inside here, pop it on, and start reassembling. Um, there was a lot of gasket maker, some silicone along each one of these ribs, and I'll show you how I do that. Okay, I got it all cleaned up, I'm ready to pop this in. It's already uh, through that hole that goes to the front. I'm going to put some silicone around there and pop the nice clean inner section back in. Um, make sure when doing this, make sure that the uh, this little actuator is in the right spot. You can kind of see where that fork needs to go right here. So make sure it falls in the right spot. Otherwise, you're probably gonna get some check engine lights and it's not gonna work right. You need these uh, flaps to be working properly. Okay, that's what that vacuum actuator does. All right, I'm about to put it back on. I put some silicone on the tip of this because it's gonna be hitting that inside edge when it goes all the way in. Put some silicone inside all those ribs inside piece is gonna go in and we're ready next we'll finish cleaning this up sealing all that before we put it back together but that's what it looks like inside these intake manifolds as you can see I spent a lot of time cleaning all this stuff the important stuff I know it's not perfect but a lot better than it was. Okay. Make sure that you've got some silicone popping out a little bit, just a little on that seal. That means you've put enough in. Just a 
fuel rail next and then we'll put the intake back on the engine. Runs like a champ.